all living organisms in the world, including human beings, uh, originate from simple one cellular organisms through evolution. And uh, from uh, s simple single cell uh, organisms, uh, multi cell organisms have been uh, formed through evolution, and from the multi cell uh, organisms, uh, more complicated. Uh, organisms have been formed with organs and with specific specific functions and in human beings this is a kind of a, a highlight human beings are a kind of a highlight in that sense but at the same time this they they get sick as plants they get sick as animals they get sick as other uh, living organisms so they are on the same basis exactly. And uh, the, the, this is what we really have to understand. Ah. To use plants or other organisms to cure our diseases. Hold. I see prescribing cannabis as a enrichment of my therapeutic arsenal. I have more in my suitcase than only my injections, my ampules, my uh, suppositories. And my I do have a solution for some desperate patients and uh, that makes me feel very comfortable because I've seen a lot of positive effects in prescribing cannabis to a selected uh, group of patients. I have problems with high eye pressure. It causes a lot of headaches. I also have a lot of pain because of an inflammation in my right knee. It makes my whole leg stiff and painful. And because all of this, I sleep very bad at night. I think as a pharmacist, you have to, you have to help people. So, and helping people can be curing people, so with medicines. But I think also with this uh, medicine, this medical marijuana, you yeah. call it, uh, you can uh, improve the quality of life of people, and especially if you talk with those typical patients. Uh, you see that people uh, really are helped with it. I always have pain, especially in the legs. That never goes. And there's always day and night. You heard already on television yeah. that cannabis could have a good effect on MS. Very good. And you can see, well, once they are sitting at home, couldn't do anything, and then after using this, after smoking it or drinking tea of it, then well, they they have a life again. So they can they can walk, they can they have a social life. So I I think it's a, a big improvement of life of people. So I think that's also our job. So that's why I supplied uh, medical marijuana. Now I take one puff of cannabis at night, I go to bed and sleep very well. My eye pressure is a lot lower, I do not have any headache anymore, and the pain in my knee and stiffness in my leg is gone. If I count them, uh, uh, I get a resistance to it. It's too much. So if I realize too much, it's so much pills. That's also the problem with those medicines. You have to take them exactly on time uh, in order to prevent resistance of, of the virus. And they give quite a lot of side effects. 
That's the worst part about it. They help very well for the infection, but the side effects are, uh, are quite bad. They make me nauseous, uh, uh, vomiting sometimes, but that I can control with medical marijuana. Uh, I have side effects like uh, damaging of uh, my nerves at the end of my fingers, my hands and my feet. So therefore I can't walk that good and I have problems with opening bottles and uh, looking up papers for instance. I, I, I don't feel that well, I can't easily turn the pages. Mm. These are side effects. Uh, one of the side effects is too that uh, y you, you don't have a good appetite. Losing weight is a problem. Eating is a problem, uh, as a side effect of the medicines. So therefore, I also use uh, medical marijuana uh, because it gives you a good appetite. And it also works uh, uh, against the pain in my fingers and in my hands. Uh, at the moment, I don't feel that comfortable, but I know that when I smoke the joint, uh, the pain is going less, I start to burp, the tension in my belly is disappearing, and I don't feel nauseous anymore. So then I'm able to do uh, the normal things of life and otherwise I would be inside all the time and my horizon wouldn't be much further than the edge of the toilet pot. If you start uh, with a botanical identity then uh, all the names like uh, hemp and marijuana are all referring to the same plant, the same species, which is called cannabis sativa. In the, in the 50s and the 60s, we had still a, a so-called species uh, cannabis indica. And that's uh, referred to the, 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 the fact that uh, uh, cannabis uh, sativa was known in, uh, in Europe uh, as the plants uh, from which one uh, produced uh, fibers. And uh, the, the plant that, uh, cannabis plant, which was called uh, cannabis indica, mainly coming from outside Europe, uh, let's say India, and it was uh, known that uh, the, the raisin of cannabis was much richer in that uh, species. During the colonial time that Britain was in India, it was the British physicians that came to know the cannabis. They have been introducing it as a drug to, to, to fight pains uh, to, to Europe. And if we go into European history, we see that uh, witches have been used much earlier than that, the, the hemp. So the witches in Europe and the Indo-Germanian era uh, were familiar uh, with cannabis in that sense, of as, as a medicine, as a drug, having uh, effects that are more than today. This use came into the professional uh, pharmaceutical uh, circuit, and that's how it came into the European pharmacopoeias as a drug. A pharmacopoeia is a, a law book of medicines. So if something is accepted as a, a monograph, an article in uh, the pharmacopoeia, it has a legal position. And this is how cannabis came into European uh, drug arsenal.